reptilian resilience. And both dinos have reached the shipwreck. Let's get that underwater camera on now so we can check what's down below. We're eerie. I see the ship's hull. And there are Cam's legs and tail dangling below the surface. Oh, this is spooky. Check out the ship's name engraved there on the bow. HMAS Morosaurus. The ship is named after another dino? Not another dino, it's Cam. What? You're making no sense. Morosaurus used to be a proper dino name, but scientists figured out it was actually just the same creature as Cam. So the name Morosaurus got dumped and Camarasaurus stayed. Well, you can't stay here, Cam, even if the boat is named after you. Kind of. You need to get back to the beach. Well, she can't. Look at her tail. It's caught up in those ropes around the ship's mast. Let's switch to the above water view. Abby, stay away from that mast. Cam's tail is tangled. Oh, she's not listening. Abby's side stroking straight towards the hazard. Wait. Abby's chewing the rope. Ah, yes. Appy's teeth are like pencils and they're lined up like a garden rake. Useful for stripping leaves. Or rescuing friends. Cam's free! Amanda? I'm OK. Are you OK? Oh, yes. But, but what about our dinos? All I see is foaming, swirling, bubbling water. Oh, I've heard about this. It's flatulence. Flatulence? As in farts? Ocean flatulence. One of the theories as to why things go missing in the Bermuda Triangle. It's when methane gas builds up under the ocean floor, then explosively rises to the surface, sinking ships, planes and... Dinosaurs? shipwreck and get your long necks back to the beach. Their neck and neck as they float and flail for survival. Uh, Tim, is that what I think it is? Holy Herrerasaurus! A water spout! It looks like a watery tornado. Exactly. For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown-up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more... Dino Dome!